Polkadot versus Cardano. How do they compare and which is the better investment? In today's video, I'll be going over just that and covering their fundamental and technical analysis. I'll also be going over some price predictions and giving my conclusions. So stay tuned and watch to the very end. Hey everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to the Crypto Busy channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Also, a like is very much appreciated. The interaction from you guys recently has been absolutely insane. So thank you so much for that. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so briefly going over the market, and again, that Bitcoin dominance does stick out for me, 68.4%. So again, we are in that Bitcoin season for the time being. Old season, in my opinion, will eventually happen. We just have to be patient at the end of the day. We have to have that long-term perspective when it comes to investing, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, and essentially with, with the altcoins as well. So we have to be patient when it comes to those sort of things, and our time will come. So you know you have to be patient at the end of the day, really. So looking at Ethereum and also XRP, Litecoin, Cardano, Polkadot, we'll see along the way these cryptocurrencies plateau and then correct and then there'll be another plateau and then it will go up again so again there will be times in, in the market where there'll be a plateau and nothing really happens when the market is just you know going going level at the time being and that's what we're seeing at the moment so we're sort of you know consolidating and getting ready for the next like upwards which i think will happen relatively soon and if that does break then we would see a crash downwards further from what we've seen earlier this week. So again, we are sort of on an edge to go either way for uh, the time being on Wednesday uh, for cryptocurrencies. So uh, that's what I think at the moment. You can see here with Ethereum, it's going above $1,000, which is good to see. XRP is holding 30 cents. Litecoin is consolidating for $137. And Cardano is around 29 cents, 28 cents of a dollar region. And Polkadot is around $9. Stellar Lumens again 30 cent of a dollar so all in all it's essentially really good you can see here that the market cap is nearly a trillion dollars it's been around trillion dollars for quite some time so there is money in the market at the end of the day and that money will fluctuate um, you know the institutions their interest will fluctuate as well so we have to be aware of that but again uh, as i said earlier the long-term perspective you've got to have and that's how essentially you do win in the crypto game uh, when it comes to these sorts of things now when i go through this video none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor this is just my thoughts and opinions and my analysis into these two projects and i'll be comparing the two displaying the differences and also the similarities and you know what those similarities and differences may differ and help with uh, their price action in the future so and that's the first thing there as well don't forget to follow us on twitter at crypto busy it's a great crypto community on there and we're just about to reach 5,000 followers on twitter and again the interaction from you guys recently has been absolutely insane so again thank you so much for that so yeah that's that's our crypto busy twitter at crypto busy and also our telegram group chat with the 8,000 700 members actively and passionately discussing cryptocurrency we love seeing over there as well we also have our vip group which is through patreon it's all on discord we'll also leave that one linked down in the description below as well so going over polka dot and cardano how do they differ and what are the similarities so looking at the tokenomics at the moment you can see that the max supply for cardano is 45 billion and there's a circulating supply of 31 billion around that sort of area and that's why the price of cardano is lower uh, than polka dot which you can see here is about 1 billion that's a max supply or total supply of polka dot and there's a circulating supply of 900 million so uh, you can see here the price differences now if we look at the overview of the two cryptocurrencies you can see here um, that they do solve similar issues um, but they're also solving separate issues at the same time so they're both proof of stake so you can stake uh, the cryptocurrency so if you buy some cardano you can and there's ability to stake it you can which is nice to see and with some uh, staking abilities you could potentially get a better yield with some bank accounts uh, these days because the interest rates are so low so you can build applications that's another similarity you can build applications on top of these blockchains uh, which is good to see as well but the main thing or the main differences between the two is that Polkadot serves for web 3 web 3.0 with thing called interoperability now you may be seeing this word bandied around quite a lot recently but if we do a quick google search on what interoperability actually is it's the ability of computer systems or software to exchange and make use of information it's a characteristic of a product or system whose interfaces are completely understood to work with other products or systems at present in the future 
in either implementation or access without any restrictions. And that's the main thing when it comes to Polkadot. Uh, and it's again, fully decentralized as well, which is really cool to see that one there uh, as well. So I'll leave this again linked down in the description below. Again, so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail. There's an article here, again, giving a conclusion of the similarities and differences. So uh, the vision of both are pretty big, but they have different emphasis. So uh, Polkadot dictates for resolving interoperability, scalability, and the problem of a security sharing. Cardano aims to solve scalability, interoperability, and consistency. And again, you can both you can build applications on both. It's just those sort of differences there. And um, you know, Polkadot has more of a security element to it, and Cardano has more of a, a scalability and a consistency to that as well. Um, if I'm not making sense, do comment down below and I'll respond to that in much further detail. But again, I'll leave all the necessary links in today's video uh, down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail. The interesting side to this as well is that both cryptocurrencies, Polkadot and Cardano, were founded by co-founders of Ethereum. So there's that history there and also that competitiveness of Polkadot Cardano with Ethereum. So um, the, the founder of Cardano is a guy called Charles Hoskinson, really interesting guy, look at the team behind it as well, really interesting team, and also it's being adopted. Polkadot, Gavin Wood, he's the he's the founder of, uh, of Polkadot, and he's also a co-founder of Ethereum. So you can see there's sort of a history and similarities there as well. So really interesting uh, in terms of the story and the timeline that we're in at the moment. So that's the first thing there. Now going into some technical analysis for uh, Cardano, you can see here that it is testing uh, the 20 EMA for the time being, I'm on the daily time frame. And you can see here also in this green zone. So if we do break this green zone, which is around the 27 cents, 27 and a half cent of a dollar region, then I do expect it to test that 20 EMA, which is again at 25 cents. Now, if it does break the 25 cents, and at the same time, we are dictated to where Bitcoin is going, then I do expect to see uh, Cardano test the 20 cent of a dollar region. Now, if we see Bitcoin uh, go bullish again and hit the $40,000 region, then that would drag up the rest of the market essentially. And we would see uh, Cardano test the 40 cent of a dollar region. So we are, again, as I said in the beginning of the video, we're sort of in a, you know, is it gonna go up? Is it gonna go down? We're, we're plateauing for the time being and we're getting ready for the next leg upwards or downwards. So interesting times ahead for everything really when it comes to cryptocurrency, when it comes to altcoins as well. Going into some technical analysis for Polkadot, you can see here I'm on the daily time frame. And when it comes to the 200 EMA, there is no 200 EMA because it doesn't exist because it hasn't been around for 200 days. Uh, so it's fairly new in terms of its historical price action. Um, so what I would recommend is that you go down into the four hour time frame. It gives you a better, clearer picture of what's happening with Polkadot's price in the immediate short term and where it could go into the future. So you can see I've highlighted this area here. This was before we hit $11, which is good to see. So we're seeing it test and also find support around different regions. So we're sort of learning as we go when it comes to Polkadot and its price action uh, for the time being. So. Again, the $11 region, again, I do think it can go to $20, as I said in the previous video. I think it can go further than that as well, $50. And in a crazy bull run, I think it can go to $100. And that would mean, uh, you know, that would be a 10X from now in, in terms of your money. But again, none of this is financial advice. Uh, and I'm not a financial advisor when it comes to these sort of things. Uh, again, we're just sort of testing for the time being. Again, do comment down below your thoughts and opinions on what I've been discussing about today. I'd love to know what you guys have to say about it. So. Again, this is a Reddit article. I'll leave this one linked down in the description below as well. It gives the main two differences between, or the main differences between uh, Polkadot and Cardano. I found it an interesting read. So I'll, again, I'll leave it linked down in the description below. So Polkadot, it solves scalability issues using sharding and multiple parallel chains. And I think the parallel chains is a little bit different to what Zilliqa does because Zilliqa does solve uh, the scalability issue using sharding. So it splits up the blockchain into infinite amounts and you can run uh, in, in essentially an infinite amount or theoretically an infinite amount of transactions on the blockchain uh, and Gavin Wood has claimed it can reach up to a million transactions per second and that would be quite a lot but again if you think about it nearly 8 billion people on this planet and if we you know going into the next uh, type of web so web 3.0 then we would need to have a blockchain that can serve a million transactions per second. That would be one thing there as well. Polkadot allows for forkless upgrades where the blockchain can constantly be upgraded without needing a hard fork. That's another key thing as well. And it also has over 100 projects funded and with plans to onboard Ethereum projects by making their transition to Polkadot seamless. So again, stealing the competition from Ethereum onto Polkadot 
Interesting times ahead. There's going to be a big battle coming up. The main advantages that Cardano has over Polkadot is that Polkadot takes 28 days to unbond or unstake, whereas with Cardano, you can go in and out quite easily, quite seamlessly as well. So it gives the user um, that opportunity and it gives them the power to go between either way, whether they want to a stake or if they don't. So that's another key thing as well. Uh, Polkadot has an inflation target of 10% yearly uh, when 50% of all its tokens are staked without a cap on total circulation. This means that the value of the tokens over time will be reduced compared to Cardano with a max supply of 45 billion tokens. So that could hinder uh, Polkadot's price going into those sort of crazy regions. But again, if we are in a, a sort of a bull market this year, then we would expect to see sort of a crazy price actions for the time being. So again, long term perspectives about these sort of things, lots of really interesting times ahead. So again, I'll leave this one linked down in the description below as well. Uh, proof of state currencies, Cardano and Polkadot surge double digit percentages. And I think that is another key thing with 2021 is we see the further surge of proof of stake and also uh, seeing the price actions for uh, the, the top 10 cryptocurrencies that are out there. So you can see here right now that Tether is the biggest out of you know all of the cryptocurrencies in terms of its, uh, you know, where it's going and how far it's going and you know, its, its market cap. You can see the difference between Tether and XRP. When I say there's a big difference, I mean, you know, we take we take Bitcoin and Ethereum to be their own separate entities and see the altcoins really to be uh, Tether onwards. And I do think there's a big issue with that. So I do think that Polkadot serves to be, well, certainly serves to be in the top five and also with Cardano as well. These are big projects at the end of the day. Um, so I'll leave, again, I'll leave this article's link down in the description below as well. We also like to use token metrics and there's no data found for Polkadot because it's relatively new. Uh, with Cardano, you can go through the overview, you can go through the price predictions. It's always fun to see the fundamentals, the technology behind the project as well. Um, it's a great resource. It's a powerful resource to use. And if you want to get 10% off selected plans or a certain percentage off selected plans, you can use our links down in the description below. You also help out support the channel at the same time. So I'm now going to do some conclusions for this video because I said at the beginning of the video, which one should you go for? And at the end of the day, if you're an investor and you want to invest in cryptocurrencies, I would say just go for both. Uh, but for the time being, um, you know, if you look at what's happening with Cardano, I think there's a lot more press happening with Cardano. There's a lot more out there that you can look into and analyze. And you can see that Charles Hoskinson is being very vocal about it, possibly because that means they've got a lot to talk about. Whereas with Polkadot, there doesn't seem to be much out there. I want to see some more press releases. I want to see some more, you know, partnership announcements and things like that. And then I'll be able to give a much clearer picture on what's happening with Polkadot. But right now, am I also set on for Cardano to do relatively well uh, for the upcoming year and also further to that as well. Price predictions as well. I do think Cardano can go to $5 quite easily, in my opinion, uh, in a crazy bull run. And with Polkadot as well, I think it can go to $100. Um, so interesting times ahead for both cryptocurrencies. Um, but that's where I lean. Do comment down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll be very interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. And I'll also be responding to some comments down below as well. Don't forget to join our Telegram group chat. Follow us on Twitter at CryptoBusy. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the CryptoBusy channel. And on top of that, if you want that competitive edge in the crypto market, join our crypto busy VIP coin calls. It's $25 plus VAT every month. It's a great crypto community on there as well. So that's it for me in today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.